Greetings, my esteemed Laddingtons. This is a heads up to all fellow content creators. So if you make videos, if you make posts, uh, book reviews or whatever, um, do keep in mind that many people, they only look at what you write in the title. So if you make a video or if you, like I did a few days ago, if you post a book review or if you post a picture of Introduction to Magic by Julius Evola and the Ur Group, there will be people who they don't take the time to read the book review or to even understand what it's about. They only look at one word in the title, in this case magic, and then they rush to give their opinion on magic without even understanding what is meant in that context. So be mindful of that if you make a video or an article or a post that many people they will only look at the title uh, and this can of course have you know bad consequences for you if someone completely misunderstands what you mean. So of course as I've said sometimes I clickbait to if I have something important to say then I clickbait a bit. Uh, but otherwise I try to be quite clear with what I mean. Now in this case the book I reviewed Introduction to Magic Volume 1. That's literally its title. Now it's not the first Evola book I review or read, uh, but it's just people they look on that word and say oh how uh, bad or whatever. Um, so keep that in mind if you put something in a title that many people they might misunderstand it. Now for me I always try to appease the the best of my subscribers. I don't try to appease the lowest, the lowest common denominators. So if some people don't understand it, I'm not gonna change my work because of it. Because I'm only trying to, you know, appease the ones who are astute and who are interested in learning. So um, that's my perspective at least. Now, what do I mean with magic? I elaborate on this at length in my latest podcast. If you aren't already subscribed, you are missing out. I highly recommend that you check it out. First link in the description box below. Now, what I mean with magic, it's basically mental techniques, including meditation and um, similar things. So basically what you do with magic is that you go into your mind, as it were, and then you do you make a change in your mind that will then have an effect on the physical uh, reality. So you go into the metaphysical first, the metaphysical will have an impact on the physical. So to take an example, if you, and I've mentioned this before, I think you can actually search on the channel for Magic is Real, so a bit of a clickbaity title there, but I made it to make a good point. So the example I elaborated on there is that if you want people to like you more, then you have to first think in your mind, you have to create that reality in your mind, so the metaphysical, and when you view yourself in a good way that yes, I'm a good person, people like me, I have an easy time getting along with people, that is the attitude, those are the vibes you will go into a social setting with, people, they will pick up on it. They will pick up on it and they will respond in a positive manner. Therefore, you have used good magic on yourself. Same thing, you can use bad magic against yourself if you say that, oh, no one likes me, I'm so impopular and I hate people and everything like that. Yeah, people will also see that, you know, you have bad vibes, you have a bad energy, they will pick up on it. So instead, determine in your mind what is up, what is going on. Same thing as a, a gym example. Some people say, oh, I don't like training legs. You're using bad magic against yourself. Instead say, I can't wait to squat in the Temple of Iron today because I really love it. Then you're using good magic on yourself. So basically, the concept of magic, you can use a different term. You can say, I use mental techniques. Same thing, I use magic because it's yeah shorter and it sounds cooler. Um, so that is what I mean with it. Um, and if you want the, a full context, check out the 
the podcast episode. So anyway, and also of course, always read all of my book reviews. Now, thank you for watching XXO. Boom.